Jisoo's solo debut, Flower, which has been highly anticipated by Blinks and many K-pop fans, was crazily invested in and arguably one of the most epic solos of 2023. Seems like a reluctantly created thing as the female idol doesn't seem to be entirely ready for this yet. Jisoo's highly invested solo debut. Jisoo, the eldest member of Blackpink, received a great deal of investment and meticulous attention from YG for her solo debut. The entertainment company released a total of six album versions of Me, which is a significant difference from the solo debuts of the other three members. Jennie only had one album version, Lisa had two, and Rosé had three versions, including a vinyl record. When it comes to the visual aspect, YG also went all out to invest in Jisoo solo music video. Although there is no specific figure, according to previous reports from the Korean media, YG announced that Jisoo's solo MV was filmed at a highly secure overseas location, with the largest investment cost ever in all of Blackpink's music videos. The Flower music video is an amalgamation of intricate styling, eye-catching outfits, and dreamy scenery. Every scene is presented in a luxurious manner, whether it's in a hotel lobby, at a dining table, in a bedroom, or in the street. Moreover, Jisoo's image in her solo music video is elevated and mesmerizing, as she dons 12 high-end outfits that exude opulence from the most luxurious brands. Among the 12 outfits Jisoo wore, it's evident that she showed a preference for Dior designs. From simple and uncomplicated outfits to bold and eye-catching ones, Jisoo carried them all quite well. Notably, in the first scene, she transformed into a fairy in a room full of flowers with a delicate dress which cost $712, paired with Dior slingbacks priced at around $1,150. This outfit alone cost nearly $81,000. In addition, the visual member of Blackpink also wore many other high-end designs from major brands, such as Rick Owens, Versace, Lee Rui, etc. In terms of the number of outfits, Jisoo is not the member that YG invested the most in, but her total wardrobe value so far surpassed that of the other three members, reaching up to $300,000. Disappointments all around. Despite the careful investment and attention given to her solo debut, Jisoo received mixed feedback, especially about her singing skills. Flower is a dance-oriented track with a catchy beat and a unique song structure that highlights Jisoo's voice. However, many critics felt that her voice showed flaws when hitting high notes. Her vocal technique wasn't impressive and her falsetto sounded weak. Additionally, Jisoo's distinct nasal tone made many people uncomfortable. Some comments praised the music and MV but were disappointed with Jisoo's singing. The MV is beautiful, but the music and Jisoo's voice are confusing. It's like there's a mismatch between the music and her voice. The beat and MV are okay, but Jisoo's voice feels stretched in some parts. It's a shame because the chorus is very catchy. I find Jisoo's voice tiring, it just feels like she's straining. Additionally, many viewers were disappointed with Jisoo's dancing and facial expressions. She has been labeled as the mobile flower vase of Blackpink for a long time due to her lack of outstanding talent compared to the other three members. Therefore, her debut performance was expected to show progress in her skills. However, all they received was a disappointment. There were very few dance scenes, mainly close-up shots of her facial expressions, limiting the opportunity to showcase her dancing abilities, which were seen to not have improved much. The dance choreography in the MV was considered easy, but her body movements were not fluid and her gestures lacked decisiveness. Her facial expressions were also criticized for not being captivating, giving the impression that she was straining to play the role. The MV gives a familiar feeling, reminiscent of Jenny. Upon the release of the music video, in addition to the praises for Jisoo's stunning visuals, some netizens began comparing Flower to Jenny's solo debut MV from five years ago. Despite being heavily invested with a large budget and various international filming locations, when the MV premiered, the public immediately noticed the similarities between Jisoo's solo debut and Jenny's from the concept, style, camera angles, scenery, and even outfits. 
In this segment, where Jisoo performs a solo dance in a luxurious house, it is reminiscent of the iconic scene from Jenny's solo MV. Other similarities were also pointed out, such as Jisoo's dance break on the street, where she changes outfits multiple times and is accompanied by many backup dancers, just like in Jenny's video. Additionally, a scene where Jisoo walks with an open top car, and another where she reads a book were noted to have similarities to Jenny's MV, with some saying the resemblance was as high as 90%. Not stopping there, many also said that the two MVs have similar color schemes and setting for certain parts, such as the dance break. Additionally, the glittering outfits of both were also noted to have similarities. For some reason, this gives me a similar feeling to Solo. Flower follows the concept of a wealthy young lady betrayed in love, kind of like Solo. The scene of the girl sitting by the window alone and dancing in a black outfit is similar to Jenny's Solo. It's clear that there are many moments in Jisoo's MV that unintentionally have scenes that are quite similar to Jenny's. This has led many comments to suggest that YG produced Jisoo's MV, but borrowed from the approach taken in Jenny's solo debut, resulting in Jisoo failing to leave her own distinctive mark on her first solo product. It is not excluded that this is a trick by YG to make the MV flower reminiscent of Jenny's solo, creating discussion for both. Because Solo is one of the most successful solo debut MVs in the history of K-pop. At present, this MV has garnered more than 900 million views. The MV had some flaws, but fortunately they were quickly addressed. It's unclear whether YG intentionally or unintentionally had some flaws in the MV flower, as netizens quickly spotted the mistakes as soon as it was released. Netizens promptly noticed YG's handling of the issue between the teaser MV and the official music product. Specifically, in the teaser MV of Flower, in the sixth second, many people noticed a sudden appearance of a shadow in the frame, wondering if it was a mysterious character that would appear in the MV. However, when the final product was released, the shadow completely disappeared. Fans were relieved that YG quickly corrected the mistake in the official MV, but many were still angry at the company for not being more careful, especially since they had boasted that it was their most heavily invested MV to date. It seems like YG rushed Jisoo's solo debut too soon. As the last member to debut solo, Jisoo has received a lot of attention from the public. However, based on what she has shown, people are questioning whether YG forced Jisoo to debut solo too early in order to meet the deadline with the other members, especially since her vocal and dance skills are not yet a level where she feels completely comfortable performing. Furthermore, her solo MV concept is seen as uncreative and derivative, simply copying Jenny's style. Before her solo debut, Jisoo shared her plans for her first solo project with Rolling Stone magazine. Here, the eldest member of Blackpink opened up about the pressure she faced from fans' expectations, admitting, I'm not sure how much I want to solo, while the other members have been able to express their individuality and preferences through various music genres, Jisoo has struggled to find a musical style that she wants to experiment with. Along with the pressure to establish her own musical style, Jisoo also admitted to struggling with enjoying music performances, mainly focusing on her stage presence to avoid making mistakes. Perhaps this is partly because she doesn't yet have the ability to fully hype up and enjoy her own performances. In the end, YG is the main factor that has caused Jisoo to be involved in controversies surrounding her solo debut. Despite Flower's impressive achievements and positive reception from the public, if YG had been more cautious and found ways to better use her potential, then perhaps some part of the audience's perception of her debut would be different. So what's your opinion? Do you feel that Jisoo is really ready for the solo debut? Has she done a great job or are there still some problems? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!